Almighty, over time, over time, over time, over time, our finances, over time, over time, over time, the promotion, over time, 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 by the finger of God, over time. from now wherever your destiny helper is Jesus. I command it to be released Release. somebody receive it shout a receive it when I overturn it three times it will come to the one whose turn is and I will give it to him is it your turn is it your turn? 2024 is someone's turn to become president in this country. 2024, I declare it's your turn. I say I declare it's your turn. If you believe, shout it's my turn. And then, Bebiara ya chichiri wadi ya koseno. Onyamia bofu wa enyipie. Amen. May the angels of the Lord bring it out. Jesus. Take a step and say, I go for it. I go for it. Take a walk and say, I enter. I enter. Take a walk and say, I go for it. Go for say, it's my right. Say, it is mine. Say, it is mine. I receive it. Seven years ago, I was in Sierra Leone on a mission field, and the Lord showed me a vision, like a trance in heaven. And they showed me a huge cupboard, and in the cupboard are spaces, little, little spaces, and there were parcels that were wrapped in all the cupboard. And he said, Sir, these are blessings of eight men. Somebody say, eight men. Oni pe biara wa asasi so no. Isire bi wo ho aye wudia. Hey, me see isire bi wo ho aye wudia. Wuda wu na yemu no. Na ye din sira atunso. Your frau say isira ba. Your name is called a blessed child. You are a destiny child. And the body who want to switch and divert your destiny. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Not a university graduate. If you are mocking me with your university, I have not been to university. But by the grace of God, I speak good English. I'm not a fisherman. And listen again. I have seen a man who never graduate, but yet still he is a graduate. And that man, he speak English. That dictionary cannot even define it. It is only in this atmosphere you can hear some prayer vocabularies like I superimpose, I overturn, I override, I interject, I bring to captivity. Some of the south fire. Lift up your and say, Oh Lord, let my treasures and the blessings of this house be released. Shout release. Clap your hands and shout release. Release, 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 clap 
Hallelujah. Give me Genesis 49 and the 17 verse. Genesis 49, 17. This place is warm, eh? Is it working? I want it to be working. Please. Tell Dan I want be. that air condition working. Check Dan every shall air be. condition that is not working must work. Amen. Go ahead. Dan shall be a serpent by the way, and other in the path. Mm -hmm. That biteth the horse heels, so that his rider shall fall backward. Watch this. Any snake in your way, let it be slain. Number two, number two, you see the enemy we are dealing with eh, is an old serpent. Tell somebody he's older than you. Yeah. So watch this. The serpent does not go for the rider. It goes for the horse. What is the significance of a horse? A horse is your destiny helper. A horse is designed to help you to get to your destination. So what the enemy does is attack your destiny helpers. And two things he does to them. It beats the heel, so it's wounded. A lot of you, your destiny helpers are wounded. Number two, they are not just wounded. After attacking it, and beating it, it releases a poison. Some of you, your destiny helpers, their mind has been poisoned about you. I'm telling you. So there are people who must help you, do things for you. It is in their power to do it, but somebody has poisoned them. Listen, me, eh? A lot of people try to poison me about some people. Yeah, they come to me and say, Papa, be careful of this guy. Papa, this guy, on your papa. Papa, this girl, who are you? And I'm saying, okay, tell me why. Justify it. And sometimes I will make my own investigation only to find out that those people, they don't want me to deal with. The two of them have issues. They used to be tied and they have issues and they want to use me to avenge them they want to program me against them and i have seen over the years one time in this country there was a president who somebody very close to him went to poison him about me it was difficult there was nothing anybody could say to change his mind and his right hand man called me and said I was then a bishop. He said, Bishop, can you fast and pray? I said, yes. He said, the way the man thinks about you when he hears your name, he's angry. And I said, what have I done? Then he asked me something about a preacher in this country. He said, you know this preacher? I said, yes. He said, he's the one that has poisoned him about you. So I went to that preacher and I said, I'm told that you. You've poisoned the big man about me. He said, I don't, and I said, I'm just telling you, whether you did it or not, I'm just telling you that I know. And I said, it's just a matter of time. We will see who wins. Yeah. And hear me, the thing changed. And me and him became like this. I would just be there, he would call me. And he said, Archbishop, where are you? I said, I'm in my office. He said, I'm coming down. Let's have tea. That was a man they poisoned. So the purpose, the snake, is not just the bite to wound your divine helpers, it's also to poison them. Change their mind about you. I've seen sisters who men were in love with them, good men were in love with them. Everything was working out until they went and told a friend, a loved one, a family member, a schoolmate, and something was said, and suddenly the man changed his mind. I've had a situation like that. One of my own spiritual daughters, I introduced to one of my sons. Everything was going on. They were excited, happy, planning the marriage and everything. I was so proud. Suddenly, a friend of hers went and revealed something that happens when she was in school to the guy's sister. And the guy's sister 
and their family went and investigated it and it was true but this was something that happened over 20 years ago there was nothing I said in this world my son said papa I'm sorry I can't marry her lift up your hands any snake in your way assigned to beat your divine helpers to bite them and to poison them and to change the mind of your destiny helpers so that you will struggle in life let them be slain and let your divine helpers be delivered in the name of Jesus and let anybody hear me if you look at Acts chapter 28 something happened there after the shipwreck of Apostle Paul they came to an island called Malta he was cold so they put some sticks firewood together lighting it and a snake came out a feminine snake serpent it came out and it beat Paul and the Bible said all the people of the island knowing that this serpent is a very poisonous serpent that there is no way there is no way it can beat you and you live so the Bible said they were all standing watching and expecting Paul to fall and die and when Paul didn't die they changed their mind I prophesy whoever has been poisoned not to help you they will change their mind in the name of Jesus from today they are changing their mind Amen. all your destiny helpers who will not help you won't return your call don't want to listen to you will not hear your sign won't, don't want to hear your name let them change their mind let the snake be slain let the poison be neutralized let them change their mind so three things slay every snake in your way let your destiny help us recover let them change their mind let the poison be neutralized is anybody ready yes. hear me this prayer eh, it will change your life when i come and stand here and i give you prayer points eh, i'm not just crazy oh. i know what i'm telling you ah, yeah, 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 yeah. me when i'm reading the bible eh, i just then read in the bible oh. when i'm reading i'm looking at what is the mystery where is he hidden demystify the mystery and hear me if you look at genesis 49 eh, it's not just the snake attacking your divine helpers or your dest destiny helpers. There's also something there. He said, so that the rider will fall backwards. You know what that means? Set back. To set you back. Number two, to ground you. Number three, retrogression. You've graduated from university, but they will take you back to primary school, once you've graduated, that's what retrogression means. You've graduated. You walk. They'll take you back to nursery. Yeah. Because your divine help, your destiny helpers have been grounded so you can't move. You have what it takes, but you can't function. And you, I'll show you another scripture after this. It will blow you apart. Today, today, let the order change. Change. You didn't hear me. I said, let the order change. Amen. Let the table stand in our favor from in the today. Name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command. I command. The immediate. The immediate. Healing and recovery. Healing and recovery. Of my destiny helpers. Of my destiny helpers. I neutralize. I neutralize. The poison. The poison. Of the snake. Of the snake. The poison. The poison. Of any. Of any. Venom. Venom. Of the snake, the, the serpent, the in my divine helpers, in my, divine helpers. In my destiny helpers, in my destiny helpers. Say in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. I, command I command anyone, anyone who, must help me who must help me 
who has been poisoned, who has been poisoned whose mind has been poisoned, whose mind has been poisoned against, me, against me, home and abroad, home and abroad domestic, and external, domestic and external, wherever they are, wherever they are within, the church, within the church, outside of the church, of the church at the marketplace, at the marketplace on the political scene, on the, political on the media scene, scene the media whoever scene, they are, whoever wherever they are, they are wherever they let are. them change their mind. I prophesy, I, prophesy, I demand and command a change of mind, a change of mind. Oh, oh let, let my destiny, my destiny help, us help us be healed, be healed recover, recover in, the in the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. I flash out flash and neutralize the, the poison. Put your hands together. Open your mouth. Pray. Out and neutralize the poison. Flash out and neutralize the poison. Every poison.
pursue, overtake, and recover. Amen. When you've been set back, you fall backwards as the rider. You are down. You have to rise up. Today, I command you to rise up. Amen. And not just that, but I command and prophesy your recovery. In the name of Jesus. And the recovery is on different levels and dimensions. In the name of Jesus. Some of you a psychological setback, mental setback, mm. emotional setback, mm. marital setback, mm. relational setback. Mm. For some of you, you always there is something I call unavailable love. Unavailable love is always engaging men who are not your kind and your type. And your type of men or your type of women are not available. Yeah. When you look at what you are capable of and the kind of man you need and the kind of woman you need and you look at the kind of men and women attracted to you, you know that this one, uh, 419, and sometimes if you don't pray, eh, you will settle for good instead of better. And the enemy of better is good. Sometimes you will settle. You have to find my latest book. It's coming out. Eh? The, five, the five men no woman must marry. And the five women no man must marry. You know, your Bible. You have to get that book. It will help you. Because some of you, eh? You are already attracted to the wrong person. And what you deserve, we call it non-available love. You are not attracting the kind of man and woman you need. They are not available. It's not true. They are there. They are there. I was praying for one of my spiritual daughters and I put her on a fast. On the third day of the fast, she comes and says, Papa, hmm, you won't believe the dream I have. I said, what was it? She said, she was taken to a forest. And when she got into the forest, she saw a man in a cave in a forest. And they've locked him in the forest. And the Lord said, that is your husband. Lose him. The man was in an iron cave. You are caving him. Some of you, the woman you must marry. The man you must marry is in a cave. You are teaching him. But after today, they will break loose. In the name of Jesus. I said they are coming out Amen. from the cave, from the prison, from the forest. In the name of Jesus. Are you hearing me? Hear me. When you marry, your husband and your wife must be a destiny helper. Yeah. If it's just about love and not destiny helper, who be break? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You are from some strange village. Eh? You have to drop at the main road. And walk two hours before you get to your village. No light. The man to you marry. You drop at the junction and you walk four hours and you have to cross a river before you get to his destiny. Hey. Yeah. I show one of my children my village. Where my father came from. You know what she told me? She said, I now understand why you pray the way you pray. One of my own children. I, I, I didn't ask her why. The way she said the thing, she said, Papa, I now understand why you pray the way you pray. And I thought about, maybe I now ask her why you said that. But I can imagine what she was thinking. That when she saw the, my father's village, she realized that, mm, Papa, we, my mom, Panya, has not to know. And some of you, yours is worse than mine. Because who would you know? Would you have a fair fair? You look beautiful, handsome there. Some of you, the way you look, I tell the young men, I said, don't just look at her and marry her. I said, find out where she comes from. How many, how many hours walk is it from the main road to the village? Find out if there is a river you have to cross. Is there water? Is there light? Check the grandmother and great grandfather. Don't just say, fair fair fair. I'm like, Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. I was so shame. Yeah. 
at the time you you go to the village and you see the house it comes from today there are financial setbacks family setback setback at the marketplace setback in investment and in business because your destiny helpers have been wounded and poisoned today by the efficacy of the blood the name of, Jesus. of the covenant yes. I command divine recovery in the name of Jesus. on every front, on every scene, home and abroad, in the name domestic of Jesus. and external. In the name of Jesus. Some of you, your passport is an, an embassy. You'll be waiting. They haven't called you. You know why they haven't called you? Because the person who has called you, eh, they've taken your name and your passport out of their mind. I'm telling you. And unless something happens, one year, Baba Ujian will be in view. Listen, I've seen situations. They go and they search for the document and they can't find it. Everybody's document is there. Only yours. But yours is there and they can't see it. I've seen situations. And they start to tell, Papa, Papa, it's not there. And I said, it's there. And I said, but we we'll look everywhere. And I said, I'm coming myself. And I'll go with them. And I'll pull the thing out. And I said, but this is it. He said, we didn't see it. Let me see. Aha. When who? That flannel in say veils, say a veil, a veil, say spells. Today we destroy veils, we destroy spells. We command divine recoveries. Put your hands that command divine recoveries, recoveries, financial recoveries, marital recoveries, emotional recoveries, mental recoveries, psychological recovery, a recovery at the marketplace, on the media scene, on the political scene. Let the spell be broken, let the spell be destroyed. We command the spirit of the overtaker, overtaker's anointing, overtaker's anointing. Receive the anointing of the overtaker. In the name of Jesus, overtake, overtake, recover, pursue, overtake, recover. In the name of Jesus, I command you to overtake, pursue, recover all. Put your hands together, open your mouth, fire. Anyone that has gone ahead of you, anyone that exploited you, anyone that wasted you and spoiled you, anyone that have used you to achieve anything in life and they are using it against you. Today, let the anointing of the overtaker come upon you. Let the anointing to pursue come upon you. Let the anointing to overtake and to recover all stolen goods lost grounds wasted years today by the lifting of your hands i release that anointing i release the anointing to pursue to overtake to recover all open your mouth put your hands together pursue overtake recover Lost opportunities, lost grounds, lost opportunities. In the name of Jesus, pursue, overtake, recover all. And I look to pursue, and I look to to recover all. In the name of Jesus, in the ministry, pursue, overtake, recover all. Pursue, overtake, recover all. Now, give me 1 
Samuel chapter 13, verse 19 to 22. I want to give you a key. Do you know that this world, eh? there's no poverty in this world. Don't believe it. There's no poverty. There is enough money in this world yeah. to make everybody in this world a millionaire and a billionaire. Yeah. And there will still be more left. Yeah. Only 3 to 5% yeah. of the population of the whole world controls the wealth of the whole world. 3 to 5%. Mm. They control everything. Yeah. Today, I want us to make a declaration yeah. and to make a prophecy mm. across Africa, Europe, Asia, the Middle East, North America, mm. South America, mm. eh, and the nations of the world. Mm. Let money change hands. Amen! Read this. I want to show you something. Look now, at this picture. Uh -huh. There was no smith found throughout all the land of Israel. No smith. Watch, listen, careful, watch. For the Philistines said, lest the Hebrews make them swords or spears. So, there was a plan to say that these smith people, eh, they will help Israel to have weapons and to have tools and swords to fight us. So what we will do, we will make sure that their destiny helpers don't have weapons. Money is a weapon. Money is a weapon. We will make sure they don't have the tools and the weapons to fight us. Go ahead, read and see. But all the Israelites went down to the Philistines mm -hmm. to shopping every man his share. Do you see? And so they've created a system where you have to go to the enemy. You have to go to unbelievers to give you loan and to help you so that all the time you are their mercy. You don't, you fast, you pray, you don't go to discos, you don't smoke, you don't do drugs, you don't fornicate, you don't cause adultery. You are living for God, but you are broke. And the unbelievers are saying that, hey, we will do all these foolish things. And yet we are loaded. Why? There is a manipulation going on. You, they have taken away your weapon. They've taken away your tool so that every time you go to them. And the Bible said, there is this error. I have seen that proceed from the ruler. I have seen princes walking barefooted on the earth and servants riding on the back of horses. Today, anybody that is riding your horse, let them fall backwards and take possession of your horse. Tell two people, I'm taking possession of my horse. Yes, sir. Read. See something. Watch this. To sharpen every man his share uh -huh. and his quota mm -hmm. and his axe mm -hmm. and his mattock. Mm -hmm. Yet, mm -hmm. they had a file for the mattocks mm -hmm. and for the quotas mm -hmm. and for the fox and for the axes mm -hmm. and to sharpen the gods. Mm -hmm. So it came to pass mm -hmm. in the day of battle. In the day of battle. That is what you call the Kairos moment of a man's life or a woman's life. That is the prime of your life. When you must have the upper hand over the enemy, see what happens on that day. That there was neither sword mm -hmm. nor spear found in the hand of any of the people that were with Saul and Jonathan. Any of the people, all the men of war in Israel, they were strong, ready to fight, but they didn't have weapons. Your divine helpers are around. They mean well. They love you. They care about you. But they don't have the means. They don't have the money. They don't have the contact. They don't have the influence. They are broke like you. And that's why I say, when you are going to marry, you must check. Because if you, you are broke, your family is broke. Eh? If, if you hear this guy, Gideon, Gideon, his family was the poorest among all those poor in Manasseh. So if the poor calls you poor, then you are really poor. Now, I'm not saying you should marry a man and a woman because of money. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying that at least they must come to the table with something. Especially if you know where you are coming from. Eh? If you have to walk one hour to your village and they have to walk four hours and cross a river, before they get to your village, it's adding three hours and then the danger of crossing river. You don't know if the crocodile or snakes in the river. How? 
So you see what happened? Read it, finish it. But with Saul and Jonathan, his son was there found. So only the king and the son had a weapon. Everybody else who must fight for Israel and help the king and the son had no weapon. Why? The enemy has taken it. That's what they've done to Africa. We have all minerals here, and yet we are broke because they've taken away our weapons. They've taken away our ammunition. So we go to the table and we are puppets. Even though they are eating from our table, we have no say. Today, let money change hands. In the name of Jesus. Let the weapons they've taken from us be recovered. We are recovering every weapon they have taken the from the hands of believers. Yeah. Now, now hear me. Even in the church, eh, it's not everybody that must have money. I'm telling you as a father. Because there are some people in the church, they are so mean and wicked eh, that the day they have money, they will even fight God. I'm telling you. They will use it against God. They will want to control the father of the house. The, everybody, you have to do what they say. I had a guy in this church many years ago. When he brings his tithe, he, he would tell me exactly what he wants the tithe to be done with. And I said, I'm, I'm, let me see what I'm saying. Are you my personal Holy Spirit? So I told him, go to accounts and take back your tithe. You can't tell me what I should do with the money. I said, if you don't trust me to use the money wisely, after all that I've done for your comfort, you don't trust that I'll use the money wisely, then go to another church. Don't bring your money here. I told him to leave, and he left. He doesn't have money again. I didn't curse him. I just told him to leave. Are you hearing me? So there are people, when they have money, hey, over bread. There are some husbands, when they have money, they will trample upon you. You have to do what they say. I'm with him. Ajua! Me with that. Me with that. If you say, yes, my Lord, dear my Lord, fear come and see from me with that. And there are some women too. When they have money, the husband will suffer. When you say, darling, say, dear and darling. So money must change hands into the right hands. Let money come into the hands of those who have a heart for God. Those who are struggling but they are still helping the church. They are still helping the house of God. Let money come into the right hands. But today we prophesy across Africa, Asia, the Middle East, Europe, North America, South America, let money change hands. Name of Jesus. Put your hands up, Professor. Let professor. Let money change hands. 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 Let money change hands in Africa. Let money change hands in Europe. Europe. In the name of your right hands, in the right hands. Let money change us to the righteous. Let money change us to the righteous. Let money change us to the righteous. Europe, America, North America, South America, Asia. Hey, let money change us. Australia. Let money change us. Let money change us. Let money change us right now. Let money change us to the righteous. 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 In the mighty precious name of Jesus. Let money change us to the righteous. 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 Let money change us. Let money change us. Let money change us. Let money change us to the righteous. Let money change us to the righteous. In the mighty precious name of Jesus. Let money change us to the righteous. Let money change us. Let money change us. Let money change us to the righteous. Let money change us. Let money change us. Let money change us. There's one more prayer you must pray. This is a prayer you must pray. Pray that your destiny helpers, whoever they are, wherever they are, that God will empower them for you. Amen. Let our destiny helpers be empowered. Amen. Are you hearing me, somebody? It's a very important prayer you must pray. Because a lot of you, your destiny helpers are weak. They have nothing. But whoever they are, wherever they are, 
that God has commanded and touched their heart to help you as destiny helpers, home and abroad, domestic and external. Let them be empowered to help you. Pray that prayer right now. In the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. Destiny helpers. in your life mm. from this moment yes. I declare mm. by the efficacy of the blood the of, of the covenant yes, let that evil order change Amen. I the command the order to change in the name of Jesus and I command the tables to turn in your favor. In the name of Jesus. I command circumstances to turn in, in your the favor. Name of Jesus. I command men and women to favor you in the name, in the name of, Jesus. of Jesus. I command circumstances to favor you. In the name of Jesus. Let the weather favor you. In the name of Jesus. Let the elements of the heavens and the earth in favor the name you. Of Jesus. Let men and women go out of their way and favor in you. In the name of Jesus. Let even your enemies favor you. In the name of Jesus. I command a divine turn around. In the name of Jesus. Turn around three times. Jesus. Turn around. In the I command name of a turn one, in the name two, of Jesus. three, in clap your hands, Jesus. scream. In the name yeah. of Jesus, yeah. Call up all of us. Give me Psalm 62, verse 3. Psalm 6, I want you to use this prayer to pray for your father. Okay? I've been praying for you to pray for me. How Please. long mm -hmm. will you imagine mischief against a man? Uh huh. Ye shall be slain, all of you. So we want to pray. Mm. Those who are imagining mischief and evil against your father, mm. whoever they are, mm. wherever they are, yeah. within and without, yes. let them be slain. In the name of Jesus. Stand two, three, two, three people, two people, three people. Put your hands up. Pray that prayer right let them now. Be let them be Mention slain the right name now. of your father. Anyone. That is fighting against the ambition. Let them all be slain. Let them be Those of you are According to your word, join us. Right now. Let, let them all be slain. Right now. Let them be slain 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 right now. Let them Let them be slain right now. Slain, slain, slain in the name of Jesus. Let them all be slain. Let them not go Let them not go for me. Let them all be slain. Come and abroad. No matter who they are, within and without, that imagine a mission against your anointed, your son and your servant, Heavenly Father, according to my covenant with you, let them not go unpunished. Let them all be slain. That divides my head and the head of my seed, my husband, my loved ones, my household, and this house and my nation. Let them all be slain. In the name of Jesus. Now, hear me. Let me slay. Hear me. These prayers eh, and the scriptures, it doesn't stop here. It doesn't stop here. 
When you go home, continue. You continue two, three times. The same topics, same scriptures. The Bible says in Genesis, and God said, and God saw, and God said, and God saw. So you know what prayer is? Intercession is different from prayer. Through intercession is this. You don't stop praying till you see what you are praying about. Until it manifests, you don't stop. That is intercession. You keep praying it, saying it till you see it. Tell somebody, keep praying it. Keep, praying. keep saying it till you see it. That's what intercession is. So you don't stop. That's why Israel has prevailed for 3,000 years. They are saying the same promises. They are praying the same promises. The same over and over and over and over again. If you look at the Muslims, they pray five times a day. If you listen to their prayers, it's the same thing. They pray the same thing five times a day. Very interesting thing if you listen to those prayers and the words in their prayers. Yeah. They pray for that you may give unto me all the good things of life. They pray some very interesting, the same thing over and over, five times a day. And you, you pray the thing one day, then you relax. It won't work. You have to keep praying it, keep saying it, and God said, and God, and God said, so. So until you see it, you can't stop praying it. So when you go home, repeat these same prayers. Three, four, five times a day. Keep saying it. And next week by this time, when we gather, you will see it. And tell somebody, when you see it, send the testimony. Tell somebody, when you see it, send the testimony. Send the testimony. Yeah. Because when God does it, he does things for us to testify, to glorify him. So when we don't testify, we hold back his glory. And he won't do it again for you. Amen? Everybody take your offerings, your seed faith, your tithes, your vows, everybody. of you at home, wherever you are, give by the information of the screen through Momo. You can lift up your cell phones, those who are giving by your phone, Momo. Lift up your cell phones, wherever you are, and join in this prayer. Go ahead.
Let's sing this song. It's a prayer song. Jeremy Hoon sent Jeremy. Lift it up. already started as you leave these grounds some of you at the car park you will receive a call it's a call of good reports Hebrews 11 2 they obtain good report by faith I declare as you live here by faith you are receiving good reward this way Good report this week. In the name of Jesus. Concerning your health. In the name of Jesus. Your finances. In the name of Jesus. Your loved ones. In the name of Jesus. Your children. In the name of Jesus. Your husband. In the name of Your wives. In the name of Home and abroad. In the name of Jesus. Your investments. In the name of Your businesses. In the name of Jesus. Everything that concerns you. In the name of Jesus. You shall obtain a good report. In Jesus. You will hear good report. Yes. Not an evil report. In the name of Jesus. Not a bad report. In the name of Jesus. But a good report. Yes. I prophesy and declare. In the name of Good Jesus. report about everything that concerns you. Jesus. Place your offerings on the altar.
two testimonies quickly before I pray and we close. Give us some testimonies, please. Bishop, read it. Give us the testimonies. Last month, during one of his services, Papa said, we should pray for good news for our family. The following week, he repeated the same prayer. In the second week after Papa's prayer, the following happened. My sister-in-law and her husband, who were renovating their house, had already finished their bedroom where they were sleeping with their eight-month-old baby. On Friday, my sister-in-law decided to take a nap with the baby, but instead, instead opted to go to the kitchen with him. As she was alone at home, shortly after, she heard a loud bang and thought her husband had come home. When she later realized he was still at work, she decided to investigate what had caused the noise. She discovered that the ceiling in the bedroom had collapsed. Everything was on the bed where she had intended to sleep the baby. We thank God for his protection and that no one was harmed. Amen. Okay, it's just only one. Okay, let's stand. Everybody stand. We got to go home. Please stand. Thank you, Jesus. Next week is anointing service. So please come with your own oil. Next week is anointing service. Uh, those who don't have oil, we will give you some, but come with your oil. Eh? Tell somebody, Amen. So everybody, lift up your hands wherever you are. Home and abroad. Those of you traveling this week, come forward. If you are traveling, come and stand on the altar. Give me Luke 3, 5. Those traveling, wherever you are going, home and abroad, by land, by air, by water, stand on the altar. Please let them come and stand on the altar here. Stand on the altar, those of you traveling. Security, step back. Come close to me. Come, stand on the altar. Stand on the altar. Yeah. Stand on the altar. Give me Luke 3. Every valley shall be filled mm -hmm. and every mountain and hill shall be brought low mm -hmm. and the crooked shall be made straight mm -hmm. and the rough ways shall be made smooth. Let there be a smooth journey. Amen. Let this journey be smooth. Amen. Smooth in the air. Amen. Smooth on land. Amen. Smooth on water. Amen. Let every crooked thing in your path in this journey be made straight. Amen. Let every valley in this journey be exalted. In the name of Let Jesus. every mountain and hill be made plain. Put hands up. Pray these prayers for them right now. Anyone traveling shall return back to this house, back to this altar, home and abroad, by land, by air, by water. You will return with a testimony. You will return with the upper hand. And anyone that concerns us, this house and altar, traveling home and abroad, you will return with a testimony. You will return with the upper hand. You will return with sweet victories. Let your movement be smooth. Let your flight be smooth. Let your journeys be smooth and clear. Let every crooked path be made straight. Let any enemy in your way be slain. 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 Every mountain and hill be brought low. Made plain. Every valley exalted. Every crooked thing made straight. In the name of Jesus, made straight. 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 Hear me. Jesus. You will return with a testimony. Amen. And you will come back with a thanksgiving offering. In the name of Jesus. You will place a seed on the altar. In the name of Jesus. To Jeez. give thanks for his faithfulness. Hallelujah. God bless you. Go back to your seat. Lift up your hands. Stand on your feet. Let's worship and go home. Yeah.
Unto the Lord be the glory, great things he has done and greater things he is going to do for us. Wow, I have, I don't know about you, but I have missed praying. I have missed being a part of this one million strong. His Eminence, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams wants you to unite and join one million strong people in daily prayers for breakthrough strategic prayer for the needs of our families and the challenges within the nations of our world. This is a special invitation from His Eminence, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams. I want to invite you to join with me as you register to become part of the One Million Tribe. It's a strong army that God has placed on my heart to bring together to deploy and engage one million strong Christians, believers, intercessors across all the nations of the world that from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same that we will have the voice of men and women like you and I all across the nations and the globe rising up to heaven and sending incense up into heaven because until prayer goes up, God can do nothing for humanity. You can't afford not to be part of this one million strong tribe and army. Join it now. The every evil pattern and demonic cycle in your life and in your family in the name of Jesus is coming to an end. Somebody say yes. We are fed. Surprise attack in the air, on land, on water, at homes, at the school, in public places. Every surprise attack in the name of Jesus. Say we intercept and we are fed it now. Put your hands together. It's good to be with you and thank you for tuning in. Today I want to talk to you about one of the five series of some of my books that have been released. Uh, the Bible said you err because you know not the scriptures. There is something about having understanding through the study of the books. This book, Beyond the Valley, that deals with mastering of faith the mastering of the test of love and the test of character and the test of faith I believe will impact your life. So many people struggle at the place of the valley, at the valley, at the valley. But the valley is not a bad place to be. Whenever you find your place at the valley, uh, realize that the next place after the valley is your journey to the top of the mountain. There is no way you can climb a hill or a mountain in life without going through the valley. So when you find yourself right at the place of a valley, it's an indication that you are bound to begin your journey of climbing the mountain or the hill. And so never be afraid when you find yourself in the valley. Every now and then, before you climb a mountain, you will go through a valley. And the valley is part of the process that we all have to go through before we get to the top of the mountain. And so if you are in a valley in your life right now, don't be afraid, don't be despair. For the prophet said the other day, he said, my enemy rejoice not over me, for when I fall, I will rise again. Most times when you are down in the valley, it's like that is the end of it, but it's not. That is just the beginning. You will rise again and you begin your journey from where you are and climb. So get this book, Beyond the Valley, a test of faith, love, and of character to impact your life. It will give you keys to longevity. God bless you.